Hello, and I am live in Covent Garden today. Now, I have been doing a little uh, YouTube collaboration with a lovely lady called Leanne Bubbly. We've been, she's been going around the streets of Paris, the city of love, uh, asking people about their views on love and what it means, and are French people really romantic? We're here in the city of love. Have you heard of that expression before? Yes, yeah. we have, we have. Okay, so in your own words, can you define what love is for you? For me, love is all about trust. It's all about being faithful. It's all about respect. Uh, it's about being generous. Mm -hmm. And it's about uh, self-confidence also, because you have to be self-confident. Absolutely. Yes. So you're in the city of love. Yeah. Okay, would you agree that French people are more passionate when they love? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same in London. Oh yeah, because this is a romantic city, isn't it? Where people love to talk to one another. Um, so let's see if anybody speaks to me in the first place and then what their attitudes towards love really are. So what do you reckon? British people, Brit or British men maybe, versus French people, who's more romantic? French. 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 Yeah. You guys are Irish, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what about Irish no. first? Um, no. <laughs> so we're saying French people, we definitely think they're more romantic. Yes. Yep. What about British versus Irish? Irish. Irish more yeah. romantic? Yeah. yeah. Nice accent? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Comment est-ce que tu peux définir l'amour en tes propres mots? <laughs> I'm sorry. No? No, I can't define the love. Why? Je peux pas définir l'amour. Je peux pas définir l'amour. Pourquoi Ça définit pas l'amour. Je Et peux si pas définir l'amour. Tu expliques en tes propres mots, tu dis quoi Mais l'amour c'est tellement de choses que tu peux pas définir. How would you define love or like a loving relationship? Um, or what isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes that's easier. Um, be with someone you trust, I'd probably say. Yeah, I think trust is um, important. Yeah, trust is important. Someone who you want to spend your evenings with as well as like I know, do you get what I mean? I, I do, I, I think I think it's like sometimes, you know, you can get lost in like the fun, like suddenly you meet someone on holiday or you have a really good romance, it's all like the dinners and the travelling and then we're in reality bites and like yeah, there's no, like... Uh, I don't like them anymore. No, they're, they're actually horrible. <laughs> they're not that hot to wake up to. So like... Yeah, so wake up to the noy hot. Also, the other thing, obviously you're English, right? Sexy English lady. Uh, <laughs> I say that, I'd rather be Italian though, but... <laughs> oh, I know, trust, trust, I know. Um, I also have got a comparable set of interviews is going on in Paris, which is obviously like the city of love. Right. Have you ever been to Paris? No. Okay. I've heard a lot about it, but I have been. Right. So, in quick impressions: English men versus French or European men. Mm. Who's more romantic? Do you think? I think European men in general are just not very romantic. <laughs> so, where are we going to go? Like... Latin America. America? I think it depends where they're from. Like, say if they're from like anywhere from the Middle East, it's very like kind of. I don't know, they know what they want, it's like they're quite straightforward, whereas European men are like... Cold as ice. It's like they'll see a hot woman and they'll be like, oh no, I can't talk to her, like they'll be really... Right, this is, it's funny you said that, this is like, this is my whole job, I'm like a love and life coach, vlogger person, so I teach the sort of the European man who is, yeah, see a woman like you, elegantly dressed, really gorgeous and go, right, she's really fit and then, no, I'm too, way too afraid and look, you're lovely. So... <laughs> So they should, do you think men should be a bit more forward then? Yeah, I'm quite forward, like if I see someone good looking then I'll say something. Uh, okay, so. That's just my personality though, like it depends. Okay. Like, if you're a shy person then you'll probably see someone hot and look, be like. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it's nice to have that flex freedom, isn't it? To just go and say hi, doesn't really yeah. mean anything. Yeah. You, ooh, you're not English? No, Kiwi. Kiwi, okay. <laughs> so I was also asking about like the international differences. Is there a difference between like Kiwi men and Englishmen. If you notice, I don't know how long you've been here. <laughs> Only a couple of weeks. Um, not, I haven't really noticed a difference, to be honest. Yeah. They're pretty similar. Pretty similar, because yeah. I would say that we're, we're questioning, basically, whether the stereotype of, like, French people are more romantic. Probably, so, I think <laughs> is it Is that based on the fact that, like, Kiwi slash Englishmen couldn't be less romantic, yeah, and so I everything think, has to be a step up? I think, well, Kiwis are very shy, like, pretty modest yes. people, you know? Yes, yes. Um, whereas I think people are a bit more outgoing, yeah. Right. So, well, a little bit. A little bit, and then you go to like New York or something, and everyone's super outgoing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, pretty in your face, whereas yeah, I think Kiwi guys are pretty modest. Pretty modest. I like modesty, but sometimes you have to be doing something to get on someone's radar. What would you define as like love or like a loving relationship or the feeling of being in love? What does it mean to you, or what isn't it? 
So I've never really been in love, but I would say like exciting adventure. That's what I would say when you're most like excited. Yeah. yeah so butterflies or the yeah. yeah. You've yeah. got to have had some butterflies yes, before. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> also, you're English. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me too. Because interestingly, we're doing those interviews here, and we're also asking people in Paris, in okay. France, which is the city of love. Uh, do you think that French? the French culture is more romantic or do you think English people are just as like open? No, French are better, yeah, because I've heard. <laughs> French are definitely better. Yes. Hang on. <laughs> I've had a French like person. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, they are. Yeah, oh, yeah. and was, was he a bit more? Yeah, a bit more, more? like seductive and like spontaneous, all of that. All so. oh, right, he sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't see this. Oh my god, don't worry, don't worry, about it, don't worry. I go, I've been banging on I've like Latin men recently, I've been like, oh hello, just a bit more and it's not to say that yeah. the British guys can't do it. Yeah, the they they yeah. can, but we need them to talk to more girls. Yeah. They need to be a bit more forthcoming, yeah, you know? Definitely. I think. That's been Yeah. When it's romance then French definitely. I wanna ask you, how do you define love in your own words? Love. Um, for me a mutual feeling. That's the main thing, I mean, the feeling has to be at the same level between the two peoples. Can you define love in your own words for me? Yeah, what no. is love? As a feeling, the feeling that you get if you love somebody in your yeah. ear yeah. with <laughs> butterflies, you with know. With butterflies. Yeah. Quickly, how would you define the feeling of being in love? How do you describe you it? Yeah. Because I, well, she, once she got with her ex-boyfriend when we were about 14. I was like, what was it like? And she said, it's like, like coming yeah, home. Like coming home. That love is like coming home. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's a lovely thing to say. <laughs> That for, for like years I want to come home to someone and yeah. like have that. Is it that feeling then of like trust and like, oh, I can chill now? And... You're just where you're supposed to be. You don't question life anymore because you're where you're supposed to be. And I would just like to say, if you're in a bad relationship, I think you question stuff you do, all day, yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always compare my boyfriend to a chai latte because he's all like really warm and like creamy oh, and like God, where spicy. Are you, where are you <laughs> finding these guys? You know, they like, sound you know, like, yes. When you have a chai latte, you just feel really warm inside and comforted and like feel like you're. Home. And it's a bit spicy as well. I like that. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and one last thing. I've also there's a comparable set of interviews that's going on in Paris, in France, okay. just really like capital of love. Obviously, we're English. Do you think? Do you think the cultural stereotype that the French are more romantic and seductive holds out, or do you reckon we're the same? I think maybe they're we're a better? bit more open with their hearts. Probably. I mean, I've kind of met a lot of Frenchmen, and I just think they're a bit more. Yeah, yeah, open. open. But it's not necessarily yeah. romantic. They're just the same. Maybe with we're a bit more reserved in England, and we're less willing to love. Maybe we're more fearful. More scared. I think that's very true as well. Actually, yeah. I think that people have a big fear of intimacy and letting go. Definitely. And sometimes, you know, I think as women, you look for the guy, and you see like inside. You think you see inside. He's got this amazing stuff, but the door is so shut. You yeah. try and prise it open, annoy no yourself in the process. Hurt, so. No, Maybe we clam up. Yeah, because I read actually that love is um, giving someone the power to destroy you, but trusting that they won't. Oh, that's so. also beautiful. That was amazing. <laughs> this is like the most fun set of interviews I think I've done in ages. It's like people are so honest. It's, like, it's like quite, actually quite wonderful and beautiful. I wish I'd had more time to get more people. Um, generally, I think what people were saying is sometimes there was, I think people were coming very self-referential to their own experiences. So, you know, if someone had had a great experience with someone of a different nationality or the same nationality, they were open to that. I think also for all the women, what was coming up is like trust, feeling like coming home, like I'm safe with this person. That is numero uno factor in love. It's not, it is a little bit about the spicy, sexy, like excitement, but it's more like, ah. Oh, I can chill now. And I think that's so important, something we often forget. So remember, if it's all drama, you're questioning yourself every day, not love. If you feel like, ah, oh, this is, ah, oh, I'm amazing. I trust this person. I can chill. That is real love. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this set of interviews. Please check out my mate, uh, Leanne's channel. The link is, is below. Obviously her interviews, she's asking a much broader range of people as well. So it's beautiful. It's added a lot to this video. And thanks again for checking in. If you like what we're saying, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out here pounding the streets of London to give you uh, the latest on all about love, romance and social experiments. So I'll be back again next week and I'll see you guys soon.